Sky Profit, baby. Back with another video for you. A good mood. A good place and space, man. As the as, as your days go by, as you keep opening my eyes, keep finding more of yourself, you're going to fall into the routine of understanding and appreciative, understanding and thankful. Some of y'all, all you really have to do is just go back at a, click, a quick glimpse in the past. And you can see it's so much better. It's so much clearer. Prophet sending blessings, guidance and protection. Integrity, strength, focus and understanding. Each individual out there, no exceptions. Never no exceptions. This shift. This changing of the planet. The consciousness in individuals that's raising and allowing for these triggers, allowing for these triggers, you triggering individuals, individuals triggering you. It's just the darkness surfacing. It's just darkness surfacing. Now, whenever we use this word dark and light good and bad, negative and, and positive. You have to understand that it's a balance between them. You have to understand that it's so many lessons within the darkness. It's not like it's not beneficial to you. But if you listen to the story, the story a twist you. The story will make you think that every time you do something wrong, Satan is inside of you. You evil. You're working for the devil. You know, all these, all these simple Simon phrases that humans say, okay? That life force that you have about yourself, that energy that you have about yourself, you can push it, good or bad, positive or negative. Just as prophet, open my eyes and I choose, I choose through my free choice to go for positive, to go for betterment, to go for enlightenment, motivation. I can open my eyes and choose to go the other way. You have to understand it's still a force behind it. It's still a power behind it. I think that's the most important thing individuals don't realize about energy and intentions because you will take bad energy and a bad intention and you paint Satan all day long if you choose to. We're the energies. We the energies. See, a lot of y'all, y'all come, we all come from dark energies, but some of y'all are supposed to pick up on that energy, on that bad energy, and transform it. Shift your reality, shift your perception, shift your truths and your beliefs within things. You know, it's, it's, <laughs> you got that saying, you know, how a lot of people will say, oh, it was rough, boy, life was rough. You know, like it, that's just symbolizing the darkness that we face, the darkness that we come across within these lifetimes. But understand that time has never been on your side as it is right now. Time is truly on your side. Time is working for you. Time is waiting on you. Time is prepared to click and tick the right ways for you.
you getting the clear understandings of these knowings that you have. So coming into the knowings, what is that? It's finding out. It's finding it out. But coming into the knowings is that knowing being right there and you coming on into it. You embracing the new truths and beliefs that you're being given. The new things that's resonating with you on a higher frequency. That's the only reason that that you have to shed truths and beliefs. It's just because it it's truths and beliefs for the time that it was in. It's truths and beliefs for the vibration and frequency that humans was on. Okay? Just as you can just plain and simple say, okay, well, from the start, shoot, we used to get on our knees and pray. You don't wake up with that. You don't wake up with that. I don't want to say preschool, but you don't wake up with that, that small box of thinking about things no more. You understanding that you in control. You understand that your knees has nothing to do with your mind. Okay. You just simply switching. You switching to the truths and the beliefs that you being guided into. Has to resonate with you. Use your discernment. You have discernment. What's discernment, prof? Discernment is your gut. Your gut. That intuition about yourself. That inner compass. That inner guidance. That inner knowing. Breaking, you're breaking these patterns because all these patterns did was have each and every individual. We were living off of a certain frame of repetitious thoughts. You know, if this happened, if, if you see this, this was going on. That happened, this was going on. You know, like, don't do that. This was up. You know, and, and we lived repetitiously by that if you don't believe me everybody lives repetitiously at one time within their mind frame thinking that God's soul spirit the creator the source of pure love of life was going to put you in some fire and let you burn we was all on that frequency. Coincidences. You believe in coincidences? Nah, for real. Like, do you believe in it? Do you believe in it? What about this? You think this is a coincidence? You think your ears tuned into these words is a coincidence? Let me find out you thinking something crazy. You have purpose. And you hear on purpose. You have purpose. And you hear on purpose. I want you to, it's a lot of things that are, that, that keeps individuals, I don't want to even use the word weary, just keeps individuals without the clarity that they need to move forward with certain things, move forward with certain beliefs, however it goes, moves forward with that satisfaction, that sense of satisfaction and understanding about self and things. Synchronicities, these synchronicities, I need you to understand that that is one of the best forms of communication 
from spirit, from source, from God, from the creator. That an individual can understand and not only that, resonates with because that individual know what they're looking at. That individual understands that they seeing it and it it is 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 not by chance. It's not by chance. It's divine. Now do you have to go and see what these numbers mean? You supposed to know what these numbers mean. Do your research. It's going to be different videos that's going to say different things about the numbers, but profit. First off, I tell you to ask spirit, ask source, ask the creator to reveal them to you. We got to remember that we own these different systems. We own these different programs, each one of us, because we own these different missions and purposes. Okay. So what it means for me. It just might not mean the same thing for you. That doesn't mean it, it, it got to be negative for you. It's just you perceiving it in another way. You getting another understanding of what you're supposed to do off of your synchronicities that you see. And they not only coming just in numbers. It could be words. You could just look somewhere. You can see a sign. You know, that's why your moment is, is it's so important because when you run across these synchronous, what you was thinking about in your moment, like where your head was, you know, where them waves was traveling through, where, where, where your brain waves was traveling at, where, where, you know, where was your place in time, your place, your place in space, where it was at. Because if you keep it, then when these synchronicities come in, you know, just to say, uh, just a quick example, you got, you can say number one, the number one means new beginnings, that we should know that, number nine, that's the highest number, before you start using them again, so nine is the highest number, nine represents what, completion, it represents completion. Now, don't get it twisted because for some of y'all, y'all just think completion, so something over. Completion also is new beginnings. It's also new beginnings. Sit down with yourself. You see any synchronicities and it got the Z, it got zeros in it. You know, sometimes a zero is just a, is, is neutral is what it is. It's, it's neutral. That was a number that, that's a number that's added, that's in there for, to enhance the numbers, to enhance the numbers. You know, just as you got nine and you go one, zero, that's 10, you know, then you 20. Third, you know, like to enhance that number, the numbers. So if you got a zero in the middle of some numbers, that zero might just be simply separating it. It might be two separate numbers that you have to, you know, read on, read off of, discern. And that zero is just, just a wall right there for you. Not always though, you know, it's, it's not always, but. You can be assured because profit, I know what, 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 what the numbers mean, but sometimes my perception of them when I see them is not as I had learned them, you know, initially, but that's just evolution and growth within yourself, understanding yourself, taking a chance on what you know what you have inside of you, taking a chance on the things that you know. See, when you do that, you unlock that confidence about your Akashic. You unlock that remembrance of who you were. It's pieces. That's why we got to keep this peace of mind because we slowly unraveling and unlocking ourselves.
any and all events, any and all events that you've experienced. Not only was a part of your group, but was a part of other individuals' growth also. We tend to see what we get, not the lesson. You know, and I think that sometime if we can begin to have compassion and understanding for the next individual, you can understand what they're supposed to be getting out of it too. And that'll further help you respond in different ways. Each one, teach one. Drive for the next individual. However it goes, however it goes, don't let nobody starve. That's the energy we all coming into. It's probably individuals around you. You might can't physically see it like you thinking of it, but you sensing, you feeling the energy of certain individuals that's around you, certain individuals that you know, that you, you be social with, you feeling the energy of them change. Some of y'all might be taking it as uh, acting funny. It's going to be funny for a lot of y'all. Y'all going y'all gonna to take it funny. It's going to be funny. People going to be acting funny with you. For a lot of y'all, that's how y'all going to perceive it. Because of the energy. You're just not used to the energy. See, this energy that... This energy that we're amongst, it's allowing us to change solely on our own. On our own, each individual, solely on your own, without a push or a pull, just simply with your intelligence, with your all-knowing, with, with the supremeness of yourself. That's what a lot of individuals figuring things out with right now. Keep your eyes peeled. Why peel, Prophet? Keep them peeled. Because if they not peeled, they covered up. If they not peeled, they covered up. Keep your eyes peeled, man. So you can see the doors that's open for you. The doors that's opening for you. The keys that you see along your path, you're supposed to pick it up. Don't open your eyes like, oh, I got the, I got a key already to get in. I, I got a key to get in somewhere already. I'm good. Don't think like that because you're running across clues. You're coming across synchronicities. you encountering individuals. Everything, it's a oneness if you think about it like that. You know, think about all of these moving parts within a motor. All working toward the same goal. Toward the same goal. For the vehicle to move. For the vehicle to power, move, and run efficiently. That's where we all at. That's where we all at. We got to get rid of the opinions toward individuals. You know, and I be saying opinions toward individuals is thin lines, you know, like, it's not like a prophet trying to tell an individual what to do, but what I'm saying is when you when you opinionated toward an individual and it has a feel, it has feelings, your feelings attached to it, a feeling attached to it, nine times out of ten, it's not real, it's not pure, it's not love, it's not love. Whether you got to work on yourself, whether it's just something that just, you don't have it about yourself, but for some reason it aggravates you, you know, you're not remembering that. You know, it's a part of you from a past life. However it goes, however it goes, our view has to stop being distorted. We have to always understand the next individual when you fix yourself. As you're doing now, 
like how you how you do that how you do that how you get to help individuals we got to remember what we supposed to do when we open our eyes you have to remember your purpose each and every time you open your eyes remember your purpose if you ain't found it yet prophet will tell you your purpose your purpose is to shed is to bring light upon this darkness it is to change and transform the ways individuals think on a mental level that keeps them confused keeps them dazed within life keeps them dazed within life Prophet wants you to embrace, accept the new version of yourself, accept that higher vibrational being that spirit is trying to guide you in the being. And you're going to all of those events that you've encountered. Your life going to take a turn of events. You're not going to have to do these pushes and pulls. You just not. You're not going to have to encounter it. That's why I would. That karma, that's why I look. We let her go. We let karma go. You know, now, was she fair? Definitely was fair. As honest as honest can get. As honest as honest can get. But we didn't like karma. You know, we didn't like karma. Honest as honest can get. But we didn't like karma. Why? Because of our ways. Because of our ways. That's why we don't like change when we see it in other individuals. Protect your energy, protect yourself to and from. Watch your surroundings. Watch what you're taking your ears. Watch what you give out your mouth. Help somebody if you can. Give somebody some words of encouragement if you can. Prophet got words of encouragement. You hear high ka. H-A-K-A, sound like you're doing some karate or something. Uh, I recommend you to call that name out when you're meditating. Call that name out when you're in nature. I'm going to reveal what it is to you. It ain't nothing negative. Profit not on negative. Your intentions. Your intentions for for healing, healing your health, how you operate out of your mental, your emotional healing, healing the unworthiness about yourself, healing all of those aspects that you need to operate out of love and compassion. How you doing, man? In the ways that you need to. Till next time, man. Back with another video. Sky Prophet, baby. Love everybody, man. Peace out.